but what we got, we, 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 obviously we've got clean water here. We're going to pour some oil in it, and then we're going to put some of this hay in it and let you see how it soaks up. This is just some burn oil that, that, that he's got. It's just burn oil and viscosity is out of it. So crude oil would have more viscosity. You can stick to something like this even more than burn oil. But there's two types of hay in the southeast United States. Uh, and one of them is coastal Bermuda. This main common one, this is it. Bermuda grass. Another is a Bahia grass. simulate wave, you know, this is, I'm only going to do this for just a few seconds, whereas it, it can stay in the water for hours and hours and hours, maybe days, the hay won't sink. Because we think, first of all, you could actually disperse it on this field that's out there now. It'll soak up all there now, I mean, you've got skimmers that come along and skim up the hay, or you could use the shrimp boats out there with their nets to pick it back up, or, or something along that line, or if it washes up on shore, it's going to be just like seaweed. You take conventional beach cleaning equipment and you just pick it up. Yeah. And when you yes. have dumpsters on the beach with liners or whatever in them and put them in those dumpsters. And then as far as disposing it out, my thoughts was take it to some incinerator and use it for energy. Just mess around, flop around in the waves. You take a little bit of hay right there. Look what's attached to it. with a quarter of a pound of dry hay. 